We are very excited and full of joy to be here today. Woo! We are praising God together and we are full of the Spirit and we can't help rejoicing. We want to shout. Yeah! We want to sing. And we want to dance. Because we love God and we love Jesus and we love each other. And because we have the love of Jesus in our heart, we have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. We have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to say, and I am happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, and I am happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. I have the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart, I have the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay, and I am happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, and I am happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. I have the mighty Messiah that manifests miracles down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have the mighty Messiah that manifests miracles down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to say, and I am happy. So very happy, I have the love of Jesus in my heart. And I am happy, so very happy, I have the love of Jesus in my heart. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Ouch! Sit on attack. Ouch! Sit on attack, and if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Ouch! Sit on attack to stay. Okay, okay, and that and that is why we were happy, and we are not going to let anything steal our joy, are we? Now, last week we learned that the disciples traveled from town to town, telling everyone they met about Jesus. What did they tell them? Anything you, you can think of that they told them? What could you tell any, anybody about Jesus? Um, that he saved us. That he saved us. That he died for them. That he died for them. Takes away our sins. Takes away our sins. There's a lot of things that we could tell them about Jesus, right? You know, but the most one of the most important things is the first thing that we have to tell them is Jesus loves them. And so we sing. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves Leah, yes, Jesus loves Jaina, yes, Jesus loves the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves Abby. Yes, Jesus loves Malachi. Yes, Jesus loves Caleb, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves 
each and every one of us. And because of that, he stands and he knocks at the door of our heart because he wants to come in. He wants us to say, come on in, Jesus. So he, Jesus knocks, knocks, knocks at the door of my heart. Jesus knocks, knocks, knocks at the door of my heart. Jesus knocks, knocks, knocks at the door of my heart. Open and let him in. And we say, into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And he comes in and he puts we get he puts his Holy Spirit in us. And that gives us a little light. Everybody have their light? You ready with your light? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Won't let Satan <coughs> it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan <coughs> it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. How long are we going to let it shine? Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. We're going to let it shine. And you know, I've asked you many, many times. We've talked about it in, in weeks past. How can you, how have you let your light shine? How can we let our light shine? What can we do? We can, what, help people? We can listen to our parents. We can, what? Include people. Include people, yes. Yes, we can do a whole lot of things that show that we love and, we, and our light of Jesus is shining. So we want to see what our book says about this. Okay? I'm going to read you. Remember the disciples, last week we talked about how they went all over and told everybody about Jesus. And it says, the disciples continued to travel from town to town. They were very busy telling people about Jesus. More and more people became followers of Jesus. The disciples also helped people who were hungry and poor. The disciples gave away food to people who did not have any. The disciples were spending much of their time helping people who were hungry instead of teaching them about Jesus. So the disciples picked seven men to be in charge of giving out food to hungry people. The men would also help people with other problems. After the new helpers were chosen, the disciples asked God to guide the helpers in their new jobs. So what does our story say? They not only talked about it, but they did things. Mm -hmm. They helped people. They helped people any way they could. And I know at least some of you kids, I know of examples where you have helped people. And you may not quite want to bring them out. But I can tell you in the past weeks, some Boys have done some mowing and some weed whacking and some yard work. You guys have some, done some digging, digging of different holes and, and different things. You've done different things around the area. You've helped a lot of different people. 
And all of that is why did you really did you really enjoy it a whole lot? Mm. Nah, nah. Sometimes it's not fun to give up because you had to sacrifice time of your yourself your, your time to do these things, didn't you? And you'd much rather be playing video games or playing whatever, or jumping on the trampoline, or you know, there's there's a whole lot of things you would like to do besides uh, you helped put in a window. A lot of you, you know, you've helped do construction work around here. You've helped with so many things. And that's letting your light shine for Jesus. That's help showing that, that you care about other people just as much as you care about yourself. Okay, so you give up some of your time or whatever to do those things. And just by you guys sitting here and giving up some of your time to worship with the little kid, with these little guys and showing them what it means, that's letting your light shine. Okay, so always remember that. And remember that we that we've talked about how God has a special job for each of us. And we don't know, a lot of times we don't know what that job is. And sometimes the job changes and, and whatever. But we know that God has something he wants us to do. Because he made each one of us special. And each one of us different. And so we sing, I am special, I am special. Don't you see, don't you see, someone very special. Someone very special, because God made me, God made me. And what did he make me to be? He made me to follow his son, to follow Jesus. He made me to be a Christian, okay? Remember Christian? And Christian really means little Christ. So we are like a little, a little like Jesus. Nobody can be like, nobody can be Jesus. And nobody, you know, there's absolutely nobody like Jesus. But we are to be a little Jesus to the world. And sometimes you will be the only Jesus that anybody sees. And if they can see him through you, they will come to want to know him. So we sing, I am a C, I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-B-R-N-A-L-L-Y I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-B-R-N-A-L-L-Y Now, we know that God's Word and God's word is the Bible. We know that, right? Tells us that it's important that we not just say we love, but we show our love in what we do. Okay, it's very important. It's good to say it, but sometimes, you know, you can just say it. And, you know, it's an easy thing to say, but it depends on what it means and it depends on how you're showing it. Because, you know... There's an old saying, actions speak louder than words. And so what you do really determines whether people believe what you're saying and you really mean it or not. So we're told that we, we're not just to talk the talk. We're not just to, to talk good and say, I love Jesus, and, and say, I, I love you, and say, I, you know. But we are to do it and show it. And that's when we'll be truly happy, and that's when we'll make others happy, too. Now, dispense to the other room. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If
happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout it and Amen! If you're happy and you know it, you won't free. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, you won't free. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, and your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all free. make sure that our life shows it. Remember, we are happy. And why are we happy? Because we have the love of Jesus inside of us. And because we are part of the Lord's army. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot in the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot in the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. And we are going to be good soldiers in the Lord's, the Lord's army. And we are going to spread God's love. We are going to tell people about Jesus every chance we get. And more importantly, we are going to show them his love by everything that we do. Okay? Because and then someday we are looking forward to the day when Jesus is going to come back. And somewhere in, in outer space, God has prepared a place for those who trust him and obey. Yeehaw! Jesus will come again, and though we don't know when, the countdown's getting lower every day. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Be ready. Somewhere in outer space, God has prepared a place for those who trust Him and obey. Yeehaw! Jesus will come again, and though we don't know when, the countdown's getting lower every day. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And when we when we see Jesus, I I say we're going to stand, but I think maybe we'll be we'll be falling to our knees when we see him, and we will say. Baruch Hashem HaMashiach Yeshua Baruch Hashem Adonai Baruch Hashem HaMashiach Yeshua Baruch Hashem Adonai Baruch Hashem Adonai And then the celebration is on forever! And we have danced the joy of the